For the people of the remote highlands of Ethiopia, grid electricity is a distant dream. When the sun goes down here, the only light is from wood fires or kerosene lamps. They're dark, hot, smoky and dangerous. But one village, Rayma, has a very modern answer to this ancient problem. Solar electricity. The solar light is like gold. Before, using firewood and kerosene, I'd have to blow my nose all the time because the gas was suffocating me. But now, I live in peace and I'm happy. The kerosene was no good. It was smoky and went out very easily. But the new light is wonderful. These solar panels mean that now, at the flick of a switch, the villagers have clean, reliable light. They're the work of Stiftung Solar Energy, the Solar Energy Foundation. Four years ago, the people of Rema heard about the foundation's work and asked them to come. Over a thousand villagers turned out to meet manager Samson Sagaye and his team. They are really surprised how it works. Sometimes they didn't believe us and, as we said, we get the power from sun. They worry a little bit about winter, rainy season, and it will not work like this. If rain comes or not in Ethiopia, we are rich of sun. Almost all of the villagers signed up for the solar systems. So to meet the demand, the foundation set up a solar energy school in Rayma to train technicians to install and maintain the systems. We train them as, as a solar energy manager. They can manage uh, everything. Also, we train them as an accountant because we want them to have their own uh, business in the future. Mayna Himishil was one of the first to graduate. Today she's meeting Habib Tisema, yet another new customer. Mayna knows only too well what a difference solar-powered light can make. After we started working here, we saw something terrible. A boy was using kerosene light and the fuel poured all over him and he was burnt. If solar panels had reached here one or two years ago, this boy probably wouldn't have been harmed. While the solar technicians take care of day-to-day -day maintenance, other villagers like Tiruwok Tasu collect a small monthly fee from each family. This ensures the systems are kept working well into the future. On the 19th day of the month, people come here and they queue up to pay. And if there's any problem with their system, they tell us and it will be fixed by a technician. It's not just light that's brightening up the villagers' lives. The foundation has also used solar power to pump water into the heart of the village. The advantage is we get water right at our doors. All ladies, pregnant women and women with new babies can all get water on their doorsteps. Previously, we had to fetch water from far away at the river and wait in line there. But now that we get water right here, it's a huge benefit. Less time spent fetching water and longer days under electric lights means businesses are booming. Instead of working the whole day, if you work in the evening when it's cool, your mind is free. So you can't compare working in the daytime with working in the evening. Evening work is more productive because it's cool. You don't feel the heat from the lights and because there's no heat, it's comfortable to work and it encourages you to work. Most impressive of all is the effect solar power is having on education. They get everything they need through solar energy. They do their homework, they can meet up with their families in the evening, and they have free time to play and relax. Because of solar energy, the number of educated people here is increasing. The foundation is continuing to expand, and now they have four more solar centers in other parts of rural Ethiopia. They hope the growing popularity of solar energy will reduce the pressure on rural people to migrate to the cities. Today, it's Habib's turn to have his system installed. It makes me deeply happy to have reached my age and to get such a light. Today the sun has risen for us, and our children are rejoicing too. 
I'm very happy to have joined the organization. When you see the group's activities, it gives you great pleasure to see their problems solved. To see the people of our country taking advantage of this, to see their homes flourishing, it gives me great pleasure.